Hi there, and today I'll show you how to set up your new Redmi Note 15 Pro Plus. Let's get started. So firstly, let's wake up phone by clicking this power button and just click this arrow. And now we are going to choose language for our phone. I'm going to choose English, but there are many other languages from which you can choose which one suits you the best. And just move to the next step to choose your region and click this button to go next. So here we would need to simply agree with privacy policy to go to the next step. And at this point, you would need to insert your SIM card or you can also do it later, but I have already inserted it. So I'm gonna proceed to the next step. And now you can add network by clicking this button and you can choose which one option suits you the best and just enter the passwords of your network. So, if you had any data on your old phone, you can easily copy apps and data to this phone or you can just skip this option by clicking Don't Copy. And now just enable to backup or disable and also you can do the same for location and device maintenance. So, I suggest you to keep these options enabled and then click more button and accept everything. And now we are going to choose our search engine. So, click next button and select default search engine. I'm going to choose Google Chrome and then click set as default. And right now you would be able to set your screen lock. So, we have three options, only screen lock fingerprint and face unlock or you can do it easily later in the settings and for now just click skip button now let's click to continue this setup and now you can access your assistant with hey google but let's skip it for now because we can set it up later in the settings as well now you can add your cards for the google pay or you can skip this option for now and add it later and let's just click no thanks option and we are almost done so now just check which functions you want to keep enabled for example if you want to turn on the location just click on this switcher and then proceed to the next step you can also disable personalized ads so you won't be able to see personalized ad recommendations now, if you bought this phone for your kid, for example, you can easily turn on parental controls by clicking this option. And now just choose your phone settings. So you can remain default or me sense. So everything will be much more bigger. And when you're done, just move on to the next step. And here choose between classic and app drawer option. I prefer classic, so I'm gonna stick with it. And that's it. The setup has been successfully complete. We just need to click this arrow to go in the home page. So that was all for now. I hope this video was useful for you. Thank you so much for watching.